Sleep. Just say the word and people will have a reaction. Most adults will tell you they don't get enough. And it's true, we are a sleep-deprived nation. But what about when you have the opposite problem? When you can't stay awake? When sleep essentially hijacks your life and the only time you feel okay is when you're not awake? The condition that can mimic that famous fairy tale, Sleeping Beauty, is actually quite ugly and can steal people's lives right out from under them. Here's a look inside a condition called hypersomnia. We talked a little bit about why you're here and what symptoms you've been experiencing. Sigurdsson, let's go. Late on a Friday night. We're blessed to be here. Sigurdsson Jakobsen and his parents are in Atlanta. Where we live, um, nothing has worked. Over 3,000 miles from home. They couldn't find out what was wrong with me there. Home is Iceland. They have crossed the Atlantic, searching for a way to help their son stop sleeping his life away. When we started, I, I was started to give him a hard time. I thought he was lazy and I was too hard on him, definitely. I didn't know what was wrong. The craving for sleep began six years ago when Sigurdsson was 16 years old, an ambitious student and talented member of Iceland's national sports team. Yeah, I slept through Christmas a couple of times, definitely. Uh, like a few days after, I would still be sleeping like 20 hours. He dropped out of college, quit sports, lost most of his friends. People say it's just depression or vitamin something, problems with vitamins and... Getting up is really hard to do. As the years ticked by, Sigurdsson's bottomless need for sleep took over his life. Did you ever think it was in your head, like a mental problem, psychological? Yeah, definitely, a lot of times. Sometimes I was like, maybe I am just lazy. A neurologist in Iceland finally accurately diagnosed him with idiopathic hypersomnia, which is defined as sleeping excessive amounts. It is thought to be a rare disorder that affects approximately one in 3,000 people. How many milligrams do you remember? 40, 60? Sigurdsson tried medication and stimulants that didn't work. They kept his body awake, but his brain was essentially living in a sleep state. Life was a fog. You're using the word tired and fatigued. Are those different than being sleepy? Emory Brain Health neurologist Dr. David Rise, one of the leading experts in the world on hypersomnia. When you listen to him, uh, he sleeps too much. He has a hard time waking up. He takes long naps. He has sleep drunkenness. Those are the hallmarks of, and he sleeps more than, than 11 hours a day in a 24 hour period. That's hypersomnia. When we go to sleep at night, there's an area of the brain that becomes active in the forebrain, the ventolateral preoptic area, VLPO. It uses the inhibitory neurochemical GABA, like a brake, to suppress wake-promoting substances, such as histamine, dopamine, noradrenaline. At the end of sleep, this brake is released and people wake up. In people with some forms of hypersomnia, the brake is never really released. Sleepiness persists, seemingly due to the presence of a naturally occurring Valium-like substance that magnifies the sleep-inducing sedating effects of GABA. That substance acts upon the GABA receptor to make the GABA receptor function more efficiently. So it sort That's of- That's what puts you to sleep. Makes, gives you sedation, hypnotic sedation. This is like a sleeping pill, okay? So this agent, we've shown, acts at this same receptor in a very similar fashion as Ambien does, and that there are ways, different other medicines, that um, can counteract or competitively get rid of that effect. Rye treats close to 600 hypersomnia patients from the United States and several other countries. It's RISE research, study, and use of a drug called flumazenil that is having a life-altering impact for patients. It's a drug made, approved by the FDA for people that are essentially overdosed or responding too well to benzodiazepines like Valium or if you overdosed on it by mistake or intentionally. When a typical person takes flumazenil, 
there is no effect felt. But when some people with hypersomnia take it, it is a magic elixir. It counteracts the sedating effects of GABA and sleep-related pathways. After more testing and a sleep study, Sigurgen will be given the drug. It works for about 50% of patients. This is my like last resort. Like if this doesn't work, uh, I don't know. On your mark, go! Anna Sumner is the poster child for what flumazenil can do. If you'd told me six years ago that this would be my life, I, I wouldn't have thought it was possible. Over a decade ago, Anna was sleeping up to 18 hours a day. She had to take a leave from her job as an attorney. In her 30s, her parents had to take care of her. She saw Dr. Rye and his team. And said, look, I'm either lazy or crazy, but I need somebody to tell me which one. This is one I was going to show you. Rye gave Anna flumazenil. At the time, she was the only person in the world taking it. Today, 100 physicians across the U.S. prescribe it for hypersomnia patients. Today, I mean, I have everything that I never thought I would have. That includes her career, a husband, a son. As for sleep, she gets seven to eight hours a night. It's no longer the center of her life. Hi, I'm Anna. Anna has come to watch Sigurgen take his first dose of flumazenil. And the man himself. He was anxious to meet someone else who has hypersomnia. That's awesome. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. So how did this all start for you? With someone fluent in his suffering, Sigurgen is revealing. Your will to do things just kind of dies. Yeah. It's just, and then you're always trying and trying again, and then it just, it gets worse, and you, can, you just kind of die inside, like from being tired all the time. With his parents. <laughs> and the medical team there, he takes the dose and waits. Like, what am I supposed to be feeling? I, I just... Well, we don't want to tell you, but you can. No, I, I'm just, I feel like before, so... Yeah, but it's only been like three minutes. Yeah. A few minutes later... I can like feel, feel this irritation I always had in my legs. Like, my body is telling me to go move. <laughs> you feel it now? Yeah. Really? Just like before? To go, just go running or go yeah. do something. I'm feeling something right now, actually. It's a weird feeling. I'm not sure what it is. It's what in my. Is it? It's probably because of the tablet. Wow, <laughs> it's <laughs> kicking in right now. Yeah. yeah. It's ah, like a. Ah, uh, ah, ah, yeah. Ah, I was laughing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so tickled back here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So it's, talk more about what you're feeling. I don't know how to describe this. It's like uh, my eyes are being lifted up, and. Uh, <laughs> What? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's a strange feeling. Is it scary? I mean, is it? No, it feels good. It feels really good. <laughs> and now I feel like, like too normal, like <laughs> too energetic. I don't know. I don't even remember, like, feeling this. Happy tears and the sound of their son laughing. What? <laughs> Things that had disappeared from this family's life. Yeah, I want to I wanna try it again. And, you know, <laughs> it's an amazing feeling. I feel so different from when I came in this morning. I just thought I didn't sleep well, but uh, <laughs> after I take the medication, it's just, it's a, like, I don't feel tired at all. Flumazenil is not a cure, but it's a treatment that can give people their lives back. More drugs are being developed to treat hypersomnia, and clinical trials are ongoing in the U.S. and Europe, some of those trials because of Rye's experience with flumazenil. Research to better understand the genetic basis is underway. Starting to crack that nut of the genetic component and it will point probably to some biology, and we're in the process of doing that, and some other groups as well at Stanford. Um, just got NIH funding to do that. Thank you so much for coming. Oh my gosh, thank you for letting me see that. That was so cool. Yeah. There are only two people in this room who truly understand what it feels like to lose your life to sleep. And now they are both wide awake.